All right, what's up guys? So we're gonna check out these new town homes built by Beezer out here in the Southwest today. So smallest model is gonna be about 1253 square feet all the way up to 2,041 square feet, which is a three-story model. And price range is gonna be about 340,000 up to 420,000. So let's go inside and check one out. All right, what's up guys? So let's go ahead and check out the Bedford floor plan. This guy is 1374 square feet. So this guy is three bedrooms, two and a half baths. And the one thing I like about this home is there is a full bedroom and a full bath right downstairs. So um, you can see in the entry is uh, the stairway up to the main living area. The laundry is gonna be right here and that's gonna be your doorway to the two car garage. So. Here is the downstairs suite. Pretty good size, as you can see. You've got eight foot ceilings. They've got a pre-wire for a fan. The models that they're selling out here, um, they are fully specced out. So the good thing is what price they're advertising, that's the price that you're gonna pay. So again, good size downstairs bedroom. You've got a spacious walk-in closet right here. You've got a full bath here, single sink, walk-in shower. So this bedroom would be great for maybe the growing teenager, college student, maybe the mother-in-law, father-in-law, grandparents. But here's the thing, if they live down here to get to the main living area, they're gonna have to walk up the stairs anyway. So, so this is a popular floor plan. So once we get upstairs, now you've got 10 foot ceilings, a lot of natural light. I love the open rails right there versus a pony wall. Check out this open concept living space. Again, this is built by Beezer. They fully spec out their homes. I mean, look at all this counter space for entertaining. Just imagine entertaining a bunch of people there. You've got people sitting here in the main living area. It's pretty spacious. Again, the one thing I do like is there's a lot of windows. So a lot of natural light. It's about four in the afternoon right now. So from the main living area, you do have access to this Little balcony right here. It's just pretty cool just to hang out, get some fresh air. We're in between Rainbow and Jones and uh, right off Russell. Uh, which are just minutes from a really good uh, cafe that I really like called Cafe 86. So if you're in the area, I highly recommend it. So let's check this out here. All right, so your furnace is gonna be here. So I thought that was a closet. So all the appliances are included. So they're including electrical stove right there. You've got a, the microwave here as well. You got the shaker cabinets. You got the undermounted sink. Really nice stuff. So let's go ahead and check out the bedrooms up here. So here's your pantry. So you're gonna have your two bedrooms here. You got the full bath there. You've got the linen closet right here. So let's check out this bedroom here. Pretty standard size with the sliding closets there. All right, and this bedroom's gonna be a little bigger. Notice this one's got the main window right there and I've got a little uh, window up there. So this one's giving out a little bit more uh, natural light in this bedroom. So here's the bathroom, so single sink, tub shower combo. You can see that the standard option here is a 18 by 18 square tile, but 
I do like the color. It really brightens up this uh, whole living area. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's move on to the next floor plan. All right, so let's check out the Griffin, 1253 square feet. This is gonna be their smallest model. Pretty similar setup. So again, that's gonna be the door to the garage. You got your laundry area right here on the downstairs floor. You've got a uh, primary bedroom downstairs as well. Similar size as the other one. Walk-in shower right there. You've got a huge closet here. Stairway to the left as you enter. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so right when you walk in, so you're definitely gonna see a little difference here. I do like the modern steel rail that they chose for this model. But you've got a standalone island here, which is different from the previous model, which is pretty nice. Actually, this kitchen feels a little bit more spacious than the previous model that we just came in. Just because, just since you can walk around this island right here. So a lot of windows still, really bright. The living area is, uh, you can feel that it's smaller, but not that much smaller actually. It's still a pretty good size. So again, 1253 square feet this one is. All right, got your linen closet right there. Single sink, tub shower combo right there. Here's the bedroom here. So again, very, very similar than the one that's 1374 square feet. I don't see very much of a difference other than the living room and kitchen layout, but still open concept. If you remember the previous house had the kitchen on this side with the counter over here. And the difference between this one is you've got a standalone island, which is a really good size island. You can obviously tell there's three stools right there and they can fit there comfortably. Not bad. All right, let's move on and uh, check out their last model, which is the largest one at 2,041 square feet. And this will be a three-story townhome. Let's check it out. All right, so let's check out the Barclay model, 2,041 square feet. This guy's gonna offer four bedrooms. Again, as we enter, very similar style. Stairway on the left, door to the two-car garage. Here is the laundry area. You're gonna have your primary bedroom downstairs right here. Again, very similar size to the previous two models. Got your walk-in shower here. I do like the vinyl plants that they chose for this model. And then they're gonna have carpet on the stairway going up. Okay, do you like this one so far? Similar to the 1374 model. The one thing you'll notice is there isn't an island for this kitchen. You can see that they modeled this with the dining table right at the center and your family area just to the left of it. So, not a huge fan, but it looks like in this community, the appliances that's gonna come with it is an electrical stove. You are gonna get the dishwasher, the fridge, the microwave. 
Um, it also does come with the washer and dryer. So it's a completely turnkey after you purchase this home. All right, let's check out the two bedrooms here or the one bedroom. So you've got a nice additional master suite here. This one's going to have dual vanity sinks here, which is nice. Undermounted sinks everywhere. It's got some great fixtures. You've got the walk-in shower right there. And check this out. You've got a huge walk-in closet for this bedroom. I mean, this thing's huge. Since this one's got the uh, taller ceilings, sometimes I always suggest putting maybe another shelf right there to kind of maximize the, uh, the space for this walk-in closet. All right, so like I said, this model here is 2,041 square feet and it's gonna have a third floor, which uh, that's where the other two bedrooms are gonna be with an additional loft here. So check this out. So you've got multiple living spaces with this floor plan. And the top floor has that huge balcony that we'll walk into a little later. So again, really nice loft here. Again, kind of makes it a, a whole separate living space. Got two bedrooms right here, pretty standard rooms. Got the sliding closets here. You can definitely feel the square footage that this floor plan offers compared to the other two smaller ones. Also because the bathrooms that this one offers, they're all, they're all much bigger. So again, the other one's only offered single sinks. This one has dual, this one has a tub shower combo on top. But this floor plan would be pretty good for people that, you know, roommates, um, you know, allows everyone to have their own privacy. One being all the way downstairs, you've got a primary bedroom in the middle, and then you've got two up here. And then, so check out this balcony this balcony is huge I mean look at this I mean the patio furniture sits six people comfortably I would do the same I put a TV right there you're gonna have a peak of the, the tip of the strip view right there so that's kind of cool that's going to be Russell Road right there. To the left is going to be Jones, and to the right is going to be Rainbow. So very central. I love this location. Yeah. All right, so before we wrap up this video, I wanted to give you a chance to see the back of the house because these townhomes, they don't offer a backyard. So the back of the house is going to be your two-car garage, as you can see right here. And in this community, there isn't a park, but there's a little dog run that you'll have access to right here. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this video tour, and if you want any information on any of these townhomes built by Beezer, don't hesitate to reach out. You'll find all my information down below. All right, guys.